Hey everyone, welcome to your 37th basics of JavaScript video in which we're going to take a look at how to use clear timeout and clear interval to actually clear your timeouts and interval. And by that, what I mean is stop executing them before they have happened, or basically, in case of set interval, just clear them so that there's no further execution. Right? So, what happens is sometimes you want this thing. Do not run if a certain condition is met right so to do that what you have to do is let's say let me just begin with set interval because that would be easier to explain so we have this i plus plus condition with us let's say i want to run it only till uh, maybe i is 100 right when i is 100 what i want to do is clear this interval now how do i clear this interval well you need to call clear interval but you need to pass in the id of this particular interval and by id what i mean is that whenever you create a particular interval it always returns this function this whole function returns a number which is an id of this interval so once we get this id we can actually use it to clear this particular interval so if i save it now what we're going to see is that it runs to 100 and then it stops. So let's just wait it to hit 100. And there we go. See? So once we get to 100, what happened is that I became 100 and then we ran clear interval with the ID passed. Right? You can also console.log this ID to see what this is. So we see this is 3 and right now I can manually this clear interval of 3. You see, when I cleared it at 3, it stopped at 70. On a similar basis, you can have set timeout and hit save. You see, timeout also had an ID of 3. So if we increase it to like 5 seconds, hit save, and I say clear timeout of 4. You see, I cleared it before hitting 5 seconds, so the set timeout block never ran right and it does not matter if uh, you know if your id is not valid right so you can write anything here it won't um, create a problem here. so it does not really need to be a valid id javascript is lenient about that so even if your interval even if your timeout is clear you can still run clear timeout anyway nonetheless and it's not an error right so i guess that's all for set timeout set intervals clear timeout clear intervals and play around it with a little and see what you can create you can create some really awesome applications using this and that's all for this one and i'll see you then in the next video